tragedy hit one Virginia elementary school when seven-year-old Amaria Johnson died from anaphylactic shock while she was at school. Why? The school did not administer an EpiPen injection due to their district protocol to administer life-saving medication only when they have a treatment plan on file. Due to this rule, the first grader passed away after experiencing allergic symptoms that led to anaphylaxis. What's worse is that the mom states that she did indeed have a treatment plan on file. Regardless if the plan was on file or not, why wouldn't you override school policy to save a life? Following Amaria's death, a law called Amaria's Law was enacted, which permits Virginia schools to stock EpiPens and use EpiPens when a child's thought to be suffering a severe allergic reaction. But would you know what to do if you saw somebody experiencing an extreme allergic reaction? Would you know how to administer the shot? And the biggest question of all, should you own an EpiPen, even if you don't have anyone in your immediate family with extreme allergies? Here to help us out with these questions is allergist and medical director from the popular health app, Doctor on Demand, Dr. Tanya Elliott. <laughs> Welcome. So I know I threw a few questions out at you, but they're very, very important questions and in fact, potentially life-saving things we need to know. Dr. Tanya, do you need a prescription to get an EpiPen? Yes, you do need a prescription. So if you can't get in to see your regular doctor, you can use Doctor On Demand, get connected with a board certified physician within two minutes for a video visit. They can do a full consultation, ask your allergy history, and if needed, send an EpiPen to your pharmacy within 30 minutes. If you administer an, an, an EpiPen to somebody who's not having an allergic reaction, is that a problem? Epinephrine is like adrenaline, so we don't want to walk around and start, you know, giving mm -hmm. adrenaline injections to everybody, right? Because it increases your blood pressure and your heart rate. However, in the setting of an anaphylactic reaction, that's the life-saving life treatment, and that's your first go-to. I think it's important for everybody to know how to use an mm -hmm. EpiPen. So you remove the safety cap. So you remember, blue to the sky, orange to the thigh, okay? And then you hold for 10 seconds. And then after that, you need to call 911 and be transported immediately to the emergency room. And if you don't have somebody in the family that actually has an allergic condition, can you still have an EpiPen uh, at home? Can you get one to have at home in case somebody does have an allergic reaction? Yes, because the truth is we can't predict if you're gonna have an allergic reaction to something. Take a bee sting, for example. Right? Anybody can have a food allergies. reaction. Food allergies too, and medication allergies. So you better believe that when I'm going to a picnic or a barbecue, I'm keeping my EpiPen with me. Okay, great, great tips. Doctor on Demand was created by our show's executive producer. And if you're interested in learning more about this app, please visit thedoctorstv.com. Thank you very much, Dr. Tanya. Good information. And we will be right back.